I have a problem. So I just got down to the subway platform and I had to put a whole bunch of money on my wife's card because for some reason you can't get metro cards anywhere else but down at the actual subway station and if you don't use the subway how are you going to get those subway cards to use the bus because that's what you use to get on the bus if you don't have quarters but I mean who uses quarters? So whenever I use the subway which is very seldom I only ever use it to go down to the downtown hospital that's when I get to use my subway card. But every time I do get on the subway, I get her a nice month-long card or whatever to last her for a month. That way, she doesn't have to go down here for no reason. people are talking about. New York is popping still. Wait, look, everybody, look who I happen to run into on this corner. Hi. Please welcome Andriana back to the vlog. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and we kind of moved us to New York City at a weird time with all this outdoor... Sorry with all this outdoor dining and all this stuff, the city just isn't the same. And as things start to open up, you realize this is exactly why I wanted to come back to the city to begin with. It's just a one of a kind place. So my problem that I mentioned at the beginning of this video is that I think I want to stay in New York City. Hey babe. Yes. Do you want to stay in New York City? Okay, you already know the answer. It's just something about New York that you can't get literally anywhere else. And if I end up staying here, which I want to, I need to find a job. And as you know, that's a big enough task in itself right now, and I'm already a little nervous looking into that. So what are my options? Well, I have a couple different options being an interventional radiologist. So for one, I can always go into academic practice, which means I work at a big hospital organization like the one I'm currently at. They usually have residencies and med schools associated with them. The second option is I can go into private practice, which is a group of radiologists who practice together, usually a group of interventional radiologists and also diagnostic radiologists that all kind of pull everything to one spot and everybody kind of takes a piece of the pie. It's a partnership. The issue with some of these private practices is that a lot of interventional radiologists don't want to go to them because when you do IR, you want to focus 100% on IR and do only IR procedures. But in a lot of these practices, you are still required to read a lot of diagnostic studies, which most IRs aren't into, but I'm actually okay with. There's also another new, relatively new, option as well, which is called an OBL. And that's essentially when you start your own private practice and have your own set of patients. So it's basically like if I were a dentist and starting up my own office, having my own set of patients that come to me. So I could essentially do like uterine fibroid embolizations or prostate embolizations in my own practice and see my own patients and kind of take care of them rather than them going to a hospital and going through all that stuff. It's just a completely different thing. The only problem with that is there's a lot of risk involved with starting your own practice, as you would probably imagine. I 
guess what I'm trying to say is I want to spend at least another year or two in this city because I don't feel like we got to experience it all the best we possibly could given all of the events that happened over the last six months to a year. Also, Michael keeps on forgetting that I was born and raised here and never want to leave. Yeah, that helps too. My wife happens to be born and raised in New York City and she pretty much doesn't want to live anywhere else besides this great city. So we may be forced to stay regardless of what I want. But luckily, I happen to love this place too. And that's why I married a New Yorker. Okay, so what's really going on right now? So basically I took the subway today, it is Saturday. I went all the way down past Union Square to meet up with Andriana. She finished work and I've actually never been to her new job, which, babe, should we, should we talk about your new job yet? No. When do you want to tell them when your new job is? Soon. Stay tuned. Anyway, so I came down here to pick her up. We're gonna go have some cocktails and whatnot. Yeah, this is a really, it's just stay that way. What? So we're actually going to have a few cocktails. She's taking photos of who knows what behind me. And we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the day. So that officially concludes this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to find me a job or know anybody that needs an interventional radiologist soon around the New York City area, let me know. Otherwise, smash the like, subscribe button, follow my Instagram if you don't already, and I'll see you all on the next video. I got you. You should film them too. Here, you'll be on YouTube. Oh.